Hey everybody, welcome back to Live on Stage. I am your host, Lucio Fernandez. Muy buenas noches, señoras y señores. Bienvenidos a nuestro programa de televisión en vivo y en escena con Lucio Fernandez. Y ese soy yo. That's me. It's my show. They let me do it. I took over. I fired the producer, the director, the camera guy. I got a new camera guy. No, I got the same guy. He looks tired, but you know, <laughs> I tell him he looks better. Anyway, so I'm here live on stage. Bienvenido en vivo en escena. Tenemos tremendo programa. Yo sé que siempre digo eso, pero esta noche sí que tenemos tremendo programa porque tenemos... No, listen, I got, I'm going to do a serious show for once. A serious, serious show. I can't do that. It's, it'll be a mess. You people won't watch it. You you people like me for what I am. Yes, they do. You, you, you know, you, those comments, I, I don't appreciate those comments. You know, it's... it's what, what do they say? What, what do they say? Um, what, what, what do they say? Uh, politically incorrect. You are politically incorrect. And I can sue you for being, I don't know, bigoted or racist or something. I, I'm going to... I'm gonna. Yes! I can sue her for doing... Yes, I can. Yes, she, she. You know what the thing she's saying to me? I, I, I Oh, we're still on camera? Oh. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're here doing live on stage. And yes, we have a great show. We Tonight we're featuring, we're at the Union City Museum of Art. Union City, New Jersey, full of culture, full of art. And we have a great artist exhibiting here tonight. Her name is Dr. Uh, what's her name? What's the her, what's her lady's name? She's really good, right? What's, what's her name? I forget her name. Dominica? Dominica, that's it. See, I got a good, uh, this is a good producer. She remember that. I'm just testing. I knew the lady's name. I know the lady's name. I have to test my crew. I have a new crew. I have to make sure they know what they're talking about. Dr. Dominica Alcantara, uh, unfortunately, she passed away in 2016, uh, but we, we are committed to doing her art show, and her family came out. It was a wonderful turnout of, of people, family, friends, and artists that came out to support this wonderful woman. She was renowned, a renowned artist and also a journalist and, and, and a teacher and we're happy to, to showcase her art here on Live on Stage. Sí, tenemos una exhibición de arte por la doctora Dominica Alcántara, una exhibición de arte muy bonita. Desafortunadamente, la señora Alcántara falleció el año pasado, pero tenemos esta apertura de su arte, celebrando la vida y el trabajo y el arte de esta señora, de esta gran dama, que fue eh, escritora de periódico, fue eh, eh, maestra y artista. Es una cosa increíble y yo quiero que ustedes disfruten esta exhibición de arte. Check this art out. It's beautiful. It's, a, it's, it's incredible. And you know, the, the funny thing about it is that her son talks about how she was a little bit colorblind and yet the colors are so vibrant, so beautiful. So check out the art gallery. Check out the music. We have great music by Flor Fitzgerald and Javier Porta Gonzalez. They're my buddies. They're great musicians and I'm so happy to have them here on live on stage. Check this out and then come back to me and we'll talk some more nonsense. Check this out.
como este, el, eh, la persona que le dio inicio a esto fue el señor Orlando Bru, una gran persona, un gran amigo. Eh, eh, para mí un gran placer presentarle al señor Orlando Bru. Gracias. Hermano. Antes que nada quiero darle gracias a Dios Todopoderoso porque nos ha permitido llevar a cabo este evento. También quiero darle gracias al señor alcalde, el honorable Brian Stack, a la Junta de Comisionados, en especial a mi amigo el comisionado Lucio Fernández y a aquellas todas las personas que han tenido que ver con la organización de este evento. Señores, venir aquí, encontrar parqueo es como encontrarse un billete de 100 dólares en el piso. ¿sí? Así que definitivamente, de lo profundo de mi corazón, le doy las gracias a todos los que estamos aquí porque han pasado tremendo dolor de cabeza para encontrar espacio para llegar aquí. Pero afortunadamente todos estamos aquí. Yo conocí uh, por corto tiempo a la doctora Dominica Alcántara. Hablar de ella, no tengo suficiente palabra y pudiera estar hablando de ella por mucho, mucho, mucho tiempo. Quien la conoció se dio de cuenta que ella era una biblioteca andante, porque de cualquier tema que usted le hablara, ella sabía, ella tenía algo que decir. Todo el que la conoció inmediatamente se sintió cerca de ella y tenía que apreciarla y estimarla. Fue una persona que, privilegiada por Dios. Primero porque le dio inteligencia, la hizo en su juventud una mujer bella y talento para ver todas las obras que ella tiene aquí en este, en este instante. No voy a ser muy, muy largo, mí. simplemente una vez más quiero dar las gracias por estar con ustedes aquí y paso el micrófono a Lucio Fernández. Gracias. Ahora le voy a llamar la atención a Orlando y me voy a burlar de él, no mentira. Eh, si sí hay parqueo, hay el parqueo de la escuela Colin Powell está abierto, que está en la 15 Palicia, hay parqueo para más de 200 carros, así que está abierto esta noche. Lo que Orlando no lo vio porque llegó temprano, porque él siempre es una persona puntual. Él me invita a almorzar, yo le digo a la 1 y él se aparece ahí a las 12. Entonces me dice que estoy tarde. No, Orlando, llegué a la 1 menos, menos cuarto, tú llegaste temprano. No, pero bueno, eh, es un placer tenerlo a, a, aquí y yo a, disfruto mucho con Orlando, somos muy buenos amigos, almorzamos cada dos semanas, cuando me permiten. Eh, y la pasamos muy bien. Pero para mí, un gran placer presentarla ahora a una amiga de la señora Alcántara, la señorita Ma Norma Amado. Amado. Mucho gusto. Eh, buenas noches. Eh, Dominica fue alguien muy especial. Y voy a, y, igual que Orlando, Orlando y yo nos conocemos desde hace más de treinta y pico de años y siempre ha sido un gran amigo. Y cuando le hablé de Dominica... Eh, enseguida quiso traerla y vino a la federación hace cinco años voy a hablarle en inglés porque yo sé que mucha, hay muchas personas aquí que no hablan español so good evening I'm here today because not only Dominica was a great artist and an excellent educator an extraordinary human being but more than that because she was my friend I was fortunate enough to have met her 15 years ago uh, when I was the chair of the Sister Cities Art and Civic in Miami-Dade County. We became inseparable immediately. She was a very generous with her kindness, wisdom, love, loyalty, and advice. She was blessed with a keen memory and a great sense of duty, commitment, and patriotism, both for Cuba and the United States, her family and friends. She loved history and travel. I love to talk about it, she talk. <laughs> she loves Spain and the La Mancha countryside. Uh, retracing the steps of El Quixote, she read Cervantes' classic literature many times and recreated on canvas his many adventures. In fact, we had an exhibit a few years back in Miami that was all about it and it sold out. Five years ago, she had her first solo exhibit here in Union City at the Federation, thanks to Orlando. She always wanted to return and was very, very excited about this event. She always said, I have to go back to the people of Union City and West New York that were so kind to me. Today, I am sure that her spirit is here and is rejoicing in this. Thank you. <clears throat> Now, please welcome uh, one of uh, 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 Ms. Alcantara's uh, sons, Juan Carlos Alcantara. Hello. 
Um, she would have loved this, especially with an open mic. You guys would have been here the whole night. She, would, she wouldn't have stopped talking. You won't get that with me. I'll be really short and <laughs> really quick. My name is Juan Alcantara, but as people know me in Miami, El Hijo de Dominica. El Hijo, the first name, the Dominica, the last name. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let you know that she really was wanted to come um, here. She was really looking forward to coming here. Uh, she really loved doing all this, uh, the exhibits and everything here, uh, the people here, Orlando, Norma, and we have family here. Um, just one little thing that I just wanted to let you know. She was a little bit colorblind, um, believe it or not. She would mistake colors, white and yellow and green and blue. Uh, I think that's why her paintings are so vibrant. Uh, you know, to look at them, I think she looked at, she saw them a little bit more uh, pastel-like. So, but to us, they stand out, they, they jump out at you. Um, I, I wrote a whole bunch of stuff, but I, all I really want to read to you is just one little thing. It's, uh, if you met my mother, then you know she was a giving person and a gentle soul. Someone very easily loved, not easily forgotten. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. pleased to honor Dr. Dominica Alcantara. And whereas Dr. Dominica Alcantara has made significant contributions to the arts community, her artistic endeavors serve as an inspiration to the citizenry of, of the city of Union City. Whereas Dr. Dominica Alcantara was born in Camajuani, Las Villas, Cuba on May 12, 1923. At an early age, Dominica moved to the Canary Islands with her parents. It was there that she discovered her love and talent for art after taking lessons at a private academy. Once she was in Cuba again, she later graduated from the Nor Normal School for Teachers in Cuba and also earned a PhD in education from the, the Uni University of Havana. She was an educator for more than 30 years. Dominica was exiled from Cuba, was able to revalidate her teaching credentials, and she continued working as a teacher in the USA. At the same time, she continued to hone her skills as a painter under the tutelage of the renowned Spanish painter Ramon Lapayase. Dominica was successful as both a painter and as a teacher. Her notable places of work include Kensington Park Elementary School, Biscayne College, and Florida Memorial University. After retiring from being an educator, she continued her work as a painter and exhibits her paintings at galleries in the USA and abroad. Whereas Dr. Dominica, Dominica Alcantara's many achievements represent the true spirit and character of the Cuban people and is hereby lauded and recognized. And now therefore be resolved that Brian P. Stack, Mayor of the City of Union City and the Union City Board of Commissioners do hereby honor Dr. Dominica Alcantara. Thank you very much. Uh, again, she would have loved this. Uh, with all my heart, I appreciate it. Bueno, aparte de ellos que están aquí, que siempre han tomado parte en la vida de Dominica, que vamos a dar las gracias también al señor Amado Mora, que está por acá, que ayudó a curar la, la exhibición de hoy, al señor Amado. A Osan, a Osan, a Engineer, al sonidista Alfonso. And the person who's in charge of all the events with me in the city, coordinator of all the city events, a Liliana Barrera. Liliana está encargada de todos los eventos de la ciudad conmigo. Una, una gracia a Liliana. Uh, también a nuestros músicos, Flor Fitzgerald y Javier Porta González. Un aplauso para ellos. Y muchísimas gracias a todos ustedes. Thank you for being here tonight. I sincerely hope you enjoy the rest of the night. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the food. And love, enjoy the company, most importantly. Enjoy the company. We have great company, great people here tonight. Y no tengan pena corrigiéndome los idiomas. Yo hablo cuatro idiomas y los cuatro los trastroco, así que no importa. <laughs> Ese es el problema. <laughs> bueno, muchísimas gracias. Thank you all for being here. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Juan Carlos, felicidades.
the name to test her. It wasn't that I knew who the woman was. I knew who the artist was. I had to test her. She's the first day on the job. I want to make sure she knows it. And she didn't quite get it. She didn't pronounce the name right. It's Alcantara. Not Alcantara, how she said it. She said it wrong. And she's a doctor. She's not a missus, okay? Are we back? Are we back? Dude, you got to say action. You got to say something. Come on, man. Don't you work on film? You got to tell me we're back on set. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. I have a new crew here. You know, the producer, she's still here. Unfortunately, still eating the hot dogs over there. You know, and, and, and I have an, another associate producer here. The director, I don't know where she is. I think she went to do, get her hair done while I'm shooting this TV show. And then this cameraman just no, falls asleep on the camera. He, he told me, you know what he told me? He said, I got a new camera. I don't know how to operate it. Well, for the love of God, we're shooting a TV show. Why couldn't you practice at home? Not here at the studio. You wait till you get to the studio to practice with me. And what am I, a guinea pig? What is wrong with the world, ladies and gentlemen? Yo no sé qué está pasando con el mundo. Yo creo que soy, yo soy el único que está normal aquí. Esta gente está chifla. You know what I said? Chifla, you know what chifla means? It means whistled. Whistled in Spanish means chifla. That means that you're crazy. That's what I'm dealing with here. This, I, the kind of crew, why can't I get a good crew? I pay Boku money. You know how, many, how much money I pay these guys? You know how much money this producer is making off of me? She's making at least $10,000 a week on me. And the associate producer is up to $15,000. The cameraman, I pay two grand. Per, per show, $2,000 for this camera work. The director, the direct, I don't know why I pay the director. I shouldn't pay them. I should just keep be keeping all this money. This is why I wear $90 suits. I went off the deep end, didn't I? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you loved the show. We have Orlando Brew, who, you know, uh, helped get the artist here. And we have uh, Miss Amado, who, who came and talked about the artist. And, and we have Flor Fitzgerald and Javier playing the, the music was beautiful and this beautiful art. Anyway, that's our show. Espero que les haya gustado nuestro programa. Nos vemos la próxima semana. See you next time. Please look me up. Look me up. If you're a nice person, and you better be, you can hit me up on Facebook or Snapchat or uh, what's the other thing? Instagram, Twitter. You can hit me up. I won't accept you as a friend. You, you can just follow me if you want. You know, because I only, I only accept nice people, normal people, people like me. But you can check it out. Si, si quieren estar con amigos míos en Facebook o en, en Twitter, Instagram, Chequenme, búsquenme. No quiere decir que lo voy a aceptar como amigo nada y que lo voy a aceptar como persona, pero de todos modos, chequen lo que estoy haciendo. Síganme en todas estas cosas. Vean nuestro programa toda la semana o por el internet, por donde quiera. Estamos hasta en Pluto. Ya Pluto no es un, un planeta, ¿no? Quitarnos a Pluto es un planeta. Pluto is not a planet anymore. See how I know that? I don't have information. You guys are supposed to be doing this research for me, you know? I could have said Pluto was a planet, but it's not a planet anymore. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, me voy. Se acabó el programa. Till next time, I am your host, Lucio Fernandez. Hasta la vista, baby. Thank you.